you have to believe in one thing and that is yourself and and I'm not saying don't believe in God or what you believe in but right now for you to find greatness in yourself you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me I may give you the spark but you've got to go inside yourself to find it and that means you gotta be quiet shut the fuck on a room stop talking search your soul search your mind search your abilities and you'll find it I manifested this life you I did. said I was gonna be this girl and I am that girl Absolutely. so this is what happened like prayer and a uh, work ethic that's what happened you may make an stallion <laughs> so it pays off yeah hard work really pays off and a lot of prayer How much more successful do you want me to be? More successful. How many records can my records break? More records. But, but I'm the best. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun don't fucking stop. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up in the morning regard. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna fucking shine in the morning. And at nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you're gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right, well, gotta figure it out. Made some mistakes, life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. People are so secretly envious of people who they think have the luxury of this and this and that that they think, oh, who cares if you get bullied? Who cares if this and that happens to you? Who cares? Because guess what? You have this and you have that. Your As point. you walk around in my shoes, you will never know what the f that shit feels like. Saying, it's no, easy for you to know. It's effective. easy for you to hide up under this f great America and say you wouldn't care this and you wouldn't care that. Why you, you not I, saying I, that I, at had, all? I had so many people tell me that. And as soon as they had the f spotlight on them, they was ready to slit their wrist. So don't you ever and tell me what to do until you walk a mile in my shoes, my nigga. I'm Period. Not. I am me. I'm a human being, and I and I have to defend myself because there is nobody else out there defending Onika Tanya Mirage. So I have to defend myself. I am who I am because I am who I am. I am who I am. Take it off, leave it. But I put in the mother work. I put in the work. Queen. Good night. I realize that when I am in crisis, when I have quote unquote fucked up, my response is, you fucking idiot. How could you? Of course, what did you expect? If I spoke to my friends like I used to speak to myself, I would have no friends. So if you do talk to yourself out loud, and I do, make sure that the words are loving and supportive and nourishing. Start the work of being your own best friend. I didn't know the towers were going to come down. I was there helping people. I worked in the tower so I didn't evacuate. And then there was, it's probably the one true moment in my life where I thought I was going to die. And I've been in stressful tactical moments, but I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to die. And there was fear in everything I was doing. There was fear in watching people die around me and not being able to do anything. And I, I opened with that because it's human and it's true. And it's, but also in that moment where I thought I was going to die, I remember sitting there, I'm like, well, I'm gonna die. I don't have a choice whether this thing comes down on me or not. I can't stop it, but I can choose how I will die. And I was like, and I'm not gonna die afraid. I'm gonna embrace it and be like, okay, I wanna see death come for me. And I remember as the tower was collapsing from above, I kept my eyes open, you know, and I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna see my death. I'm gonna see my end. And so I feel that no matter what life comes at you, we, f we feel like I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. It just might not be the choice you want, but you can always find a choice and power, even in the most helpless of moments. The best advice I've been given, and I wish that I knew when I was younger, is don't be in a relationship with anyone you wouldn't marry. Here's why. It's a waste of time and it takes you off the market. Don't worry too much about relationships. Build friendships, and maybe one day you'll meet your soulmate. Or maybe you'll realize you want to spend the rest of your life with your best friend. Your life should not be spent on trying to fall in love or having to worry about a partner. 
Your life right now should be spent on you finding yourself. Go to that party, study hard, hang out with the boys, hang out with the girls, because as you get older, all those people are gonna be in their own lane doing their own thing. You're gonna look back and regret not enjoying your life when you were young. If you have a goal, reach for it. If you don't, don't worry about it. The past is a memory, the future is imagination, and the present is a gift. Make the most of being young, because trust me, getting older comes fast. The fact that I'm gonna die one day, yeah. and that everyone around me is gonna die, and no one will remember me after a certain point, makes me feel so good like because I could do the best thing in the world and nobody would remember it ever and I'll die and it won't matter and everyone else around me will die and it won't matter or I could do the worst thing in the world and that won't matter because I'll die eventually so you don't really have to worry that much Why is it so hard for you to understand that you are going to die one day? And if you don't chase after your goals, and if you don't chase after your dreams, those dreams and goals are going right with you into the grave. Always listen to yourself. Like there's a little voice in there, like and in here, that always tells you certain things. And um, in this industry, people will come in and try to skew you one way or another. There's a little bit of playing the game that happens for a little while, but I think that you should always say fuck it and listen to that voice instead um, because I've, I've done both and I know how it feels so for me I would I would much rather just do what feels the most honest and you know don't listen to like outside sources telling you what you should be when you know deep down if it's incorrect or not most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you could ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. When it feels scary to jump, Ian, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, I actually paid attention one time in class. And, and he said, he had this beautiful quote, and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle. And I took that to heart. I believe there's time for resting at the end, but for me, that time is not now. I have a dream. Sacrifice for it and never ever rest in the middle. If you want to become successful in life, young man, he said, number one, you got to change your mindset. He said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Number two, practice OQP, only quality people. You earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. I found that out. I left all my bro broke friends. I said, "Y'all gotta go," because <laughs> I used to be so broke I pass a bank and trip the alarm, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and the third thing he said: develop your communication skills because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. I'm living in the present. I can't dwell on the past. I love to take social media breaks. Like I'll post things and try not to read the comments. Because if I was posting something about me, I post something with me like raising money for cancer awareness and I got reamed for it. So it's like no matter what I do, you're gonna have just haters. So just know that that's the way of the world and just love yourself. YOLO, you only live once, you can't worry about it. When asked what's the biggest mistake we make in life, the Buddha replied, the biggest mistake is you think you have time. Time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. And once it's lost, 
you can never get it back. I'm starting to learn that being broken and alone is sometimes the best place to be. Because what happens is you start to realize that you really aren't alone. You're just not dependent on the person you were supposed to be dependent on this whole time. See, I've been depending on people. I've been depending on things. I just want to put this idea in your head that it takes one person to realize that there is beauty in everything. And you don't have to be on one side of the spectrum or the other side of the spectrum or fit into someone's mold, your mom's mold, whoever mold that you're trying to fit into, be your own person. Know for yourself what beauty is rather than looking to a magazine or to even me for what beauty is. Know within your heart and make your own mold for what beauty is.